they know what it's like to supposedly be able to do something, but still not be able to. I mean, you might know someone who supposedly has all the skills required to do something, and they've got all of the skills. They've supposedly done some level of action or all of the action necessary, and yet they still don't have that thing, that outcome that they're supposed to be able to get with all of the time, energy, and attention they've put into this thing. It's like they have all the supposed information, they have the knowledge, they have the skills, they've taken on mentors who have already told them exactly what to do step by step. It's, it's all there. It's all there. And supposedly they've taken some action or have taken all of the action necessary. The, the lack of action, that, that, that's something else altogether also. You know, some people, even if they know what they're supposed to do, they don't take action. But let's, let's be supposed that we aren't bums and we've, we've done the action necessary. Yet, still, we or someone you know, someone you might know, doesn't have, you don't have, the results that we're supposed to be getting with all this energy, attention, and time we put into something. Where's the bottom? Where's the problem? Why is it not working? And if you look at it really deeply, very often you'll find that the problem isn't with tactics and techniques. The problem isn't that the skills aren't present. They've studied up for that. The problem isn't the lack of action. But sometimes, well, let's be frank, rather often it's lack of action. But still, you know, sometimes a lot of people have, you know, have nearly killed themselves with the amount of action, with the amount of effort that they put into doing something or getting something done. And, and still, the results aren't at par with all that effort, time, energy, attention. Where's the bottleneck? Where is the bottleneck? What's wrong? Well, if you look at it really deeply, it seems the problem is at the level of beliefs. You see... If you don't believe you can, you can't. If you don't believe you can, and you don't even try, definitely you can't. <laughs> if you don't believe you can, and you try, sometimes you'll even ignore the fact that it succeeded, and, and just not be able to do it. And for a variety of other reasons, if you don't believe you can, that affects your skill level. Some people call it lack of confidence or lack of self-esteem, or they think it's lack of knowledge, or they think they need to get more mentors. <laughs> Fact is, even with the skills in place, if your beliefs contradict what you're supposed to be able to do, very often you can't get it done. And the rare time that you do get it done, you ignore what you're capable of. And so that cycle of progress doesn't continue. So. You may have noticed that, I'm just pulling out examples here, some people have an issue with money. That may not be you, but that's a lot of people. And they have all the contacts. They supposedly have the resources, or they have the skill, or the capability. And yet, money is still a prevalent issue. Look at it, you know, circumstances and all, and, and life, and life happening, and things getting in the way, and accidents and circumstances. Yeah, there's stuff that's out of our control, but there is stuff that's under our control, and even though we supposedly know how to keep producing money, how to keep generating more of it, how to circulate it, how to make use of it, we simply find ourselves inept or incapacitated around unable to produce more of it, especially when we need it the most. Like when we need to take care of things. We need to take care of family, loved ones, our staff, people important to us. So I guess that's an invitation while we're exploring this. Do you know anyone who has issues or incapabilities arising from their beliefs? Even if it's in that example we gave, you know, about money. Do, do you think that maybe your bottleneck, your choke point, your problem arises from your beliefs about money or beliefs about anything. And if you think that's true for you, I think we can help you with that. I'm not an expert at money or a bunch of other things, but 
I am pretty good with beliefs, and I am pretty good with helping people figure out and overcome their personal stumbling blocks. Because <laughs> one of the most incredibly useful pieces of news that you'll ever hear is that oftentimes the stumbling block, the thing that's in our way the most, it's us. And there's a way around that. So, hey, let me know if this is something that you'd like to work at and overcome. Something about beliefs, something about you not being able to do what you're supposed to be able to do because you don't believe you can or you lack the experience that demonstrates that you can or you've ignored the experience that you can. Whatever the reason is, if you feel that somehow software is the problem, your internal wiring is the problem, we can help you with that. So let me know what you're up against and let's see what we can do with that. Yeah? <laughs>